Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Randolph, spokesperson of the Edmonton Humane Society with your This Week at the EHS for April the 20th. And this week we're focusing on two canine medical cases, an update on the mange family we told you about recently, and also the story of a lovely dog who's had some hard luck dealing with a very unusual illness. Meet Charlotte, the lovely two-year-old purebred standard poodle. She was surrendered to us two months ago from someone who simply could not care for a dog anymore. When Charlotte was first examined by her medical team, two small sores were noticed on her left cheek and we thought it was a bite wound or something. Well, it wasn't. Charlotte is suffering from an unusual bacterial infection that causes sores to pop up on her face that can easily get infected. Our medical experts have performed a few surgeries on a variety of the sores, and now they're trying honey on them to help with the healing, along with other special medication. So Charlotte's been in our shelter for two months and although we've been doing Tellington Touch on her to help her cope with the shelter environment along with other stress reducing techniques, it was time to get her into foster care. So off she went on Thursday of this week with a foster family quite experienced with the poodle breed. Charlotte is a lovely dog with a wonderful personality. We really hope that she'll do well in a home environment as we continue treating her. Of course, we'll keep you posted on this lovely girl. And of course, there's our mange family, the ones that you met last week. This mom and her three pups came to us at the beginning of April in horrible shape, all suffering from a severe case of mange. That's a highly contagious skin disease caused by microscopic mites that burrowed down into their skin. After just a couple of weeks, they're almost all cleared up, but still need a bit more treatment, although they are no longer contagious. They'll all head into foster care very soon, and their socialization will continue. Prognosis looks quite good for all of them since they've come such a long way in so little time. If all goes well, they should be up for adoption soon. And thanks to everyone who offered suggestions when we asked for them last week to help us name this lovely family. We had so many great ideas, but we went with names suggested by Brandy Chug, who posted on our Facebook page, Shakina for the mom, Serial for the girl, Zuriel for one boy, and Elijah for the other boy, all apparently angel names. We went with that since many people have commented that our medical and behavior staff members are angels with all that they're doing with this family. Perfect names with the circumstances, of course. Thanks again for everybody who gave us the ideas. Watch for all the updates on these dogs on our social media sites. We will update them regularly. And along with everything else that we do here at the Edmonton Humane Society, just keep in touch with us. That's it for this week. We'll see you again next week.